Hi guys, I thought I'd just quickly take you through the TTI 2011. Uh, the, the reason I've found that it doesn't lock back, which is the feature I actually want. So, as you can see, there is a pin right here, which holds the lock back, like so. With the safety down, you can see it's actually quite difficult to move. And also with the empty mag in, doesn't actually move it up. And that's because the spring in this mag is actually a bit softer for the gel balls that we use, which is something that Asriels did, upgrading the units. But the downside was that the spring isn't strong enough to fix this up. But with that said, this little pin here is actually goes through connects to the safety as you can see if you release the pressure on this end pops up as designed because the spring is actually strong enough to do it it's just that this pin is maybe a little bit too long so next thing I did was check that the pin If you file it down, it didn't come out more, but the pin is a set length, no matter how much tension. And I don't want to decrease the tension in this because I want my safety to work correctly. So I want the amount of tension on that pin. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to file this down little by little, checking and adjusting, and see if that fixed the lockback. I'll come back to you after I've done that. Hey guys, so instead of actually filing down that pin, it's been hard to get to, but the the lock back actually had a piece of high surface of aluminium on the back of it here. So I actually decided to file this down instead, because this is more easily replaceable later on if I want to. So as you can see, just fold it down just a touch and essentially what that does is now so without any without any mag in it it works perfectly fine however Put an empty mag in it, locks back. Locks back. Locks back every time. Cool. It's <laughs> exactly what I wanted. Nice.